A warm, rainy winter's day. Memories of growing up in Palo Alto. I was outside doing yard work in the rain, and it reminded me of another rainy day when I was nine in Palo Alto. I spent the day with my usual gang of friends. Jim Kern, Brooke Ostrom, Mark Thompson, who's black, and Eugene Toskovich, who's Eastern European. We were playing our normal hunting grounds, the industrial area at the edge of town, between Lewis Road and Bayshore Highway, now known as Highway 101. Because it was raining, dumpster diving was out. The rain makes everything slimy and yucky. So instead, we played in the rain. At the end of East Meadow Drive, there were two large empty lots that had just been scraped for building. That was our field. I'm not sure what games we played, but we probably played Fort and Explorer, and we climbed all over the earth moving equipment. The lots had just been leveled prior to pouring the foundation, so there were large shallow puddles that we played in. Splashing, splashing each other, we got thoroughly soaked. The puddles had washed the larger stones off, and this really was the first time that I noticed rocks. Not just that there were rocks, but what the rocks actually were. There was red and green chert, which is a hard stone. We searched for the largest stones, the prettiest ones, the most interesting shapes, and we shared our treasures with each other. Some of the chert had thin white veins of white quartz, and those were especially valuable. In the end, we took our treasures home, only to be left outside by the back door and forgotten. It was just a delightful day. We were thoroughly cold, thoroughly wet, thoroughly muddy, and thoroughly happy. A Fond Memory of Growing Up in Palo Alto by Robert Harker Harker at harker.com, Creative Commons 3.0, share alike, non-commercial.